Hello guys, welcome to Queries Resolved. In today's segment, we'll see how to enable TPM, that is Trusted Platform Module, on your Windows device. Well, the procedure remains same on the Windows devices ranging from Windows 7, 8, and 10. Before we get into this video, I would like to wish all the viewers a very happy new year and would also like to thank everyone for making the previous year great for my channel. Thanks for your support throughout in the previous year and I hope we gather more support and have a productive year ahead. Now coming back to today's query. Trusted Platform Module is a security hardware that enhances the security functions of the applications present on your device, specifically saying Windows device. For instance, in my previous video that focused on enabling BitLocker, we must have the TPM enabled in order to use that functionality. As a matter of fact, for all the security functions that are being used on a device, the Trusted Platform Module must be enabled. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, we'll open the run command by pressing the Windows key along with R and then type tpm.msc and then hit enter. Here we find that the Trusted Platform Module couldn't be found on my device. One possible reason might be that the TPM was not enabled on this device or the TPM version present isn't compatible with the device. It's clearly mentioned that the TPM version should be 1.2 or above in order to use it. In order to check the status of the TPM and enable it, you'll have to go to the BIOS setup. For that, we'll have to reboot our device. So we'll go to the start menu, go to power and then click restart. So this is the boot menu and we'll select the BIOS setup option. Here we'll go to the security options and then check the TPM device option. Here it is hidden so we'll turn it available and then go to the TPM state which is disabled right now, we'll enable it. Now we'll exit by saving the changes we have made. So here click enter and then click yes. Now it's time for verification. So let's open the run command and again type tpm.msc. Hit enter. Here we find that the TPM is ready for use with the compatible version present in the device. This was the way to enable TPM on your Windows device. I hope you all like this video and must have found something new and helpful. So please show your support by liking the video, subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends and family. That's all for today guys. This is Vikram Parikh signing off. Your queries, my solutions. Thank you.